The gold for oil policy is supposed to be a fallout of the mission to the Emirates by government delegation in search of cheaper source of petroleum products. Though the idea is still at its incubating stage, the announcement by the vice president has drawn many to share their views as well as concerns. Now, Ghana currently does not have its own mine and cannot lay claim to any significant volume of gold. To make this gold for oil work, it has to rely on the benevolence of both large-scale and small-scale miners. The large-scale miners have existing agreements with government and cannot be compelled to do otherwise. Governments can only persuade them. But these miners are in the business to make profit for their shareholders. There is only a limited volume of gold they can sell to the government even if they want to, because they have their own commitments to meet. Indeed, selling their gold to the government for cities, when their costs are mainly in dollars, will be too much of a sacrifice for many of them, not to mention that selling to their regular buyers will earn dollars. The other option for the government is to buy from, obviously, operators in the small-scale mining sector. But these operators also have their principals who actually pre-finance their mining operations. Three business sources in the gold exports business say the gold for the oil policy is not feasible. They explain that they have investors who give them dollars to undertake mining and purchase of gold and are required to sell the gold back to these principals. They explain that compelling them to sell their gold to government for cities will mean they breaking their contractual agreement with their investors, an option they cannot exercise. They say any attempt to compel them to sell their gold to the government will only result in the smuggling of the commodity to neighboring countries to facilitate their exports to their investors and sponsors. It appears that gold exporters are also incensed by this decision that they intend to hold a crunch meeting to take a position on the matter. Stakeholders three business have spoken to describe this policy as not well thought through and a knee-jerk reaction.